all. I uh, just got the Mayan Factor by Jose Arguelles. Uh, he wrote it in 1987 when I was born, right before the Harmonic Convergence. So in a sense, right during my birth, he was at like his peak of all these ideas that he was uh, still formulating. And not only is he himself an Aquarius rabbit, so we wrote it in the year of the rabbit, his own sign, but uh, just like Daniel Pinchbeck and I, we are both yellow spectral star in Mayan astrology. And that is the perfect helping partner, they say, for um, Blue Monkey, which is uh, Jose Arguelles. I find this more than coincidence. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be helping Arguelles more than Daniel did, because they already met and stuff. Or, you know, if you know Daniel's supposed to help him the most. But I really think it's more than coincidence. And we also have Jupiter and Pisces, um, just like Nietzsche, so we have a great imagination. Jose also has his moon in Pisces, so... He's a huge psychic resonator, I think. And I, I don't believe everything he says because it's all very personal stuff and how, who am I to discredit you know, his experiences. Um, but I just picked up his 400-page biography by Stephanie, who lives with him, and she initially met him in a dream. Like, they met, and he was walking around like an abandoned city, and that's when they first met. So they say he's a time traveler. That's the name of the bios of um, Biography of a Time Traveler, 2012. But I think that it has a lot of relevance, and something very important in the Mayan factor was that he he did something I thought I was the first to do. He already synchronized the Mayan calendar with the uh, I Ching. He figured out that the I Ching with the 64 hexagrams was a genetic code given to the Eastern mystics, while the Mayan Sulkin calendar... Um, was a galactic code, the 260-day Tolkien. So both of them, he synchronized it in this book, and I'm, I'm halfway through it, and I just can't put it down, but I wanted to talk to y'all before I finished it. You know, I'll probably read some more brilliant stuff. But yeah, since he did that the year I was born, you know, no wonder, like, it's no wonder I'm into all these topics, because they say specifically, in 87, there was a conjunction of Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus, and... Like, all of a sudden, all these people were getting into the Mayans and, uh, you know, crop circles and stuff like that right around 87. So literally, when I was born, it's kind of my whole frame set for the rest of my life, and it's kind of weird. I mean, Arguelles was born in 39, so he had the whole World War II. He has his son exactly opposing uh, Pluto, just like Nietzsche. So like Richard Tarna says, it's a real battle of transforming yourself in this life and just always going through regenerations. Um, but yeah, please pick up the Mind Factor. It's amazing. It was only like 16 bucks at Borders. So uh, I love finding out stuff and then finding out that someone else knew it. I mean, like, that really makes you question originality, you know. Like, one of my favorite Mark Twain quotes is, um, is, uh, God's, so, it was like, oh, um, something about copyright laws and, God wrote everything. But yeah, I'll get back to you. I'll put it um, on the annotations or whatnot. 